please. So long as laws shall exist which create hells please, in the midst of civilization, so long as men are degraded, women ruined, and children afraid, so long as there shall be ignorance, poverty, and wretchedness on this earth, stories such as this one must be told. Valjean, occupation, thief. No, Your Worship, I'm a woodcutter. This court sentences you to five years in prison. Oh, dear God. No. Oh, dear God. No. Please, Your Worship, I'm a woodcutter. But you see, there is no work. I, I, I can't find work. And my sister here and her children are, are, are starving. Take him away. No. Please. I, I, I'm not a thief, Your Worship. My father before me was a woodcutter. Only he's dead now. Uh, my mother, too. Uh, my, my sister's own husband. Are all of them dead? Uh, if only I could find work. I, I, I beg you, Your Worship, uh, uh, bread to eat, that's all. Just to eat, just to live. Remove the prisoner. Please, please, I'm begging you. No, no, let me go.
Take him off. Continue. Beautiful as the moon tonight. Fool. Quiet. Yeah. You all right? Sure. It was my father's trade. What are you talking about? He taught me to be a woodcutter. For what? For this? Better he teach you to be a thief. a lever and a wedge. There isn't time, he'll be dead. No. Yes, look at him, he's dying already. Everyone stay where you are. Sure. Are you crazy? You'll kill yourself.
It is the decision of the military tribunal that five years be added to your sentence. I am requested by law to inquire if you have anything to say on your behalf. Yes. Well, I wish to give you my sacred promise, monsieur. What? What's that? I've tried to live like a man. No more. If you treat men like animals, that is what you'll get. Three months of solitary confinement in the hole for insolence. Take him away. My sacred promise. The next time, I'm going to escape. No. Him. Yes, Inspector. It is Valjean. It is the decision of the military tribunal that 10 years be added to your sentence. I am requested by law to inquire if you have anything to say um, for yourself. Someday. Speak up. <clears throat> Someday I'll kill you. Six months in the hole for disrespect. Take him away. Gosh. Mm. 
How long have you been here? Nineteen years. For what? I killed someone. What about him? Valjean. Nineteen. We came here together. For what? A loaf of bread. He stole a loaf of bread. My God. Do something. What for? He'll fall, that's all, and be killed. Let me try. Go ahead. Break my chains. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not a trace. Nothing. He's dead for certain. Shall we continue the search? Madame Magloire, who's at the door? A beggar, a monster. <laughs> what does he want? To kill us. I need help. Food. Please, you will come inside. Madame Magloire, you will set another knife and fork for the guest. Oh, but monsieur. You're welcome here, my friend. Come in. I want you to put clean sheets upon the bed in the alcove. You mean to sleep here? Yes. I think our guest could do it a good night's nice rest. Hmm? 
Monsieur, I beg you to consider it. See to it at once. Well, my friend, perhaps you will wish to wash before supper. Huh? I can't pay for any of this. Oh, I have no money. Mm. And I would not take it if you did. You're more at home here than myself. And all there is here is yours. You, you don't even know who I am. Uh, but I do. You're my brother. And I can tell that you have suffered greatly. Even for a priest, you're different from the others. But there are many more of them than there are of you. No man who is created good by God can be made entirely bad by man. There is always a spark which evil can never extinguish. I don't know anything about that. Right to live, that's all. It's enough for now. Madame Magloire, where are the silver plates we use for guests? Monseigneur, the silver, the silver is gone. It has been stolen by that beggar. I told you, I warned you. That scoundrel, he took it in the night. Madame Magloire, I have wrongfully held back this silver which belongs to the poor. And who was this person? Evidently a poor man. He is a thief. We must do something. We must inform the police. Oh, Lord, help us. He has come back. He will kill us. Don't go to the door. Ah, Monseigneur. If you please, one moment. What, Monseigneur? You're not the priest, then? Silence! He's a bishop, of course. May we enter, Monseigneur? Indeed you may. I've been waiting for you. Come in. What a pleasant surprise. I'm so happy to see you again, Monsieur. Wh what's that? You have discovered, of course, that you forgot the candlesticks. Candlesticks? They are also silver. And I think it should fetch you 200 francs, at least. Why didn't you take them with you? Uh, Monseigneur, are you saying this man spoke the truth? Well, we thought he was running away, but he claimed that he... Yes, yes, I know. 
Well, he told you that uh, this silver had been given to him by a good priest. <laughs> so it was. Uh, you were mistaken. In that case, uh, we shall release him. <laughs> Immediately. I know you gentlemen try to do your duty, and I do not blame you, but uh, you may retire now. Good day. Here, you will take this with you. No, I can't. Take them. Good. Now you will live in peace. Father. Promise me. Promise that you will employ the money from this silver in becoming an honest man. Do you hear me? And I promise you that there is more joy in heaven over the face of a repentant sinner than the white silk robes of a hundred just men. If you leave here with thoughts of hatred against your fellow man, then you're worthy of pity. But if you leave, with thoughts of kindness and, and peace, oh, then you, you are more worthy than any of us. brother, for you no longer belong to evil. I bought your soul, and I withdraw from it all black thoughts, and I give it to God. Truth here. It's the new police inspector. Another? That's all we need. As you can see, Inspector, you have arrived on a very special day. The fair is only held once a year. Many a pocket will be picked before the sun goes down. You have no police posted? The day of the fair, no, no, no. Oh. The day of the fair, people can do as they wish. Within reason, of course. You allow beggars, too. Today, almost everything. The law does not allow for special days. A crime that is committed must be punished. Indeed, sir. I believe we shall have to institute some changes when I take over. We have very little crime here, Inspector. It is, for the most part, a prosperous town. For that, we can thank our good mayor, Monsieur Madeleine. You see, on the platform over there, a truly wonderful man. I've seen enough here. Let's go. As you wish, Inspector. Hey, Francois, do you want a girl? You can have her cheap. You go crazy. Put her in a kennel. Away with you.
Yes, is there anything else? Uh, yes, monsieur, you have a visitor waiting to see you. Yes? He is the new inspector of police, and he would like to introduce himself to you. Hmm. Very well, have him come in. You may come in, sir. Inspector Javert, at your service, sir. How do you do? My privilege to serve you, Monsieur Le Maire. I am your new inspector of police, and I trust you will never find me failing in my duty. Uh, where have you served uh, before this? I have been 21 years at Toulon prison. I became chief of the guards there. Well, uh, we welcome you, Inspector. Is it possible, Monsieur? Have we met before? No. No. You have never been in Toulon? Never. And might I inquire when you may be free to inspect my men at headquarters? Inspect your men? In two short weeks, Monsieur Le Maire, I have brought a new discipline to the department, and we would be honored by a visit at your earliest convenience. Tomorrow, perhaps? Oh, I'm busy tomorrow. Friday. Very well, then. Thank you, sir. I will not take up any more of your time. Beads. Sir? Do you make beads here, I understand? Yes. Beads. How long has this man been mayor? Three years. Has he a family? No, he lives alone. That is, he has a housekeeper, Sister Samplis, a plain woman, but well known in these parts because she never tells a lie. <laughs> he attends no social events. Only in his duty as mayor. He keeps to himself. How long has he lived here? Five years. Where did he come from? I don't know, but we're all grateful that he arrived. The town was quite poor, you see, but he brought with him this idea of using gum lac instead of rosin to make the black bees. It's uh, so much cheaper that you can make twice as many at the same price. He has doubled the wages of the workers, and we're quite prosperous now, thanks to Monsieur Madeleine. Gum lac. Yes. Yes. It is quite plentiful in too long. In fact, they have used it there, I believe, in making black bees. Close your mouth! I beg you! Have mercy! Quiet! What is this deserted? Sorry, sir, but this girl was found soliciting in the street. I, I was just begging. That's all, begging. She struck a gentleman no. and insulted No, he struck me first. He called me names. Be quiet. Oh, I was just begging. Be quiet, I said. Sit over there. Sit. Make your report. Monsieur Le Maire. Would you be good enough to inform Inspector Javert that I'm here for him? You are the one. I worked hard in your factory, but because I have a baby and no husband, you got rid of me! Who did? Who discharged you? The supervisor. Months ago. I have no money. I, I have nothing. Nothing to send to the people looking after my child. I sold my hair. I sold my body. I have nothing left to sell! You will, you will look after me. You will have mercy upon me. I, I, I would never strike a gentleman, but he, he was not a, not a gentleman. Enough! 
Be quiet, woman. You have committed a crime and you will have six months for it. But I was protecting myself. He, he struck me first. Six months. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Nor God nor anyone else can alter your sentence. Take her away. One moment, please. Sir? I would like this person to be set at liberty. Well, sir, that uh, cannot be. Why so? The creature has struck and insulted a gentleman. I'm sorry. I've listened to this woman, and I know what I'm doing. My duty requires that she should go to prison for six months. Listen to me carefully. She will not go for a single day. Monsieur le maire, I regret bitterly being forced to resist you, sir, but I believe I am within the limits of my authority. No. This affair belongs to the borough police. By the articles 9 and 11 of the criminal code, it falls under my jurisdiction. I order that she be set free at once. If you will permit me, sir. Not another word. Sir, leave the room. How did it happen? It's been murder. It's been I tried to freeze a cart, but it sank and he fell. Was it trapped underneath? Have you no Jack? Uh, Someone's gone to fetch one, but I don't think it'll last that long. Oh, please, please. Some of you start unloading the cart. You will come. Yes, sir. Use this log as a lever under the axe. Yes, sir. No, Mr. Madeline, you'll be killed. Come out. I could prove it in court. You believe? That is all? He is Jean Valjean. No question. Mm. For your own sake, monsieur, you had better be right. Sir. We shall make our own investigation first, and we shall inform you if, if the accusation is justified. That is all.
there's a person at the door, a young woman. She says you gave her money for her child, and she must see you. Oh, show her in. Demanding it. Who? The Thanadiers. The innkeepers who are looking after my little girl till I can send for her. They now tell me she is very ill and they must have money for medicine. What am I to do? We shall send them a note and we shall send them money and ask them to bring the child at once. But, monsieur, they won't. Leave. Not another word. It's done. Meanwhile, we shall see if there's some work suitable for you to do at the factory. Sister Saint, please. Forgive me for interrupting, monsieur. I will come straight to the point. I'm sorry to report that an inferior officer has failed you in the gravest manner. I am here, as is my duty, to bring that fact to your knowledge. And who is this officer? Myself. And I request that you procure my dismissal at once. I could have sent in my resignation, but that is not enough. I have done wrong, and I deserve punishment. I must be dismissed. Please, sit down. You were severe to me at headquarters unjustly. Be so justly now. You wish to be dismissed? Why? What have you done? Three weeks ago, I took the occasion to go to Paris to see the prefect of police there and to denounce you. As a mayor who has encroached upon the authority of the police? No. I denounced you as an escaped convict. In truth, I thought you were. I have had these notions for some time. A certain resemblance to a man called Jean Valjean. It may sound absurd, I know, but I took you for him all the same, and I denounced you to the prefect. And what was the response you received? At first, they were uncertain. And then they told me I was mad. They were right. You admit, then, that you were mistaken? Indeed. For you see, sir, the real Jean Valjean has been found. Oh? Yes. The police are certain that they have caught him at the town of Arras. He will be tried, and when his identity is proven, he will be returned to prison for the rest of his life. Arras, you say? Yes. The trial takes place there tomorrow morning. And now, monsieur. I ask that you dismiss me from service. You exaggerate your error. Having heard your story, I, I would like you to remain as inspector. Don't you understand, monsieur? There are two classes of people. Those who attack society and those who guard it. We are the guardians, and I have failed in my duty. My own father spent time in prison. Indeed, that is where I was born. The laws of society can never be ignored. Very well. We'll see. No. A gentleman ought not give his hand to a spy. Good evening, sir. 
I will continue in my duty until my place is filled. Monsieur Valjean, do you have anything further to say? I am innocent. I am not Jean Valjean. You have heard the evidence of these three men. Now, these men all served with you at the Toulon prison, and each one has identified you as Jean Valjean. Now, in the face of this, how can you pretend otherwise? My name is Lebec. I am a wheelwright. You are indeed a very clever fellow to have so many names. They are mistaken. I have always been a wheelwright. It's a hard trade. At 40, a man is finished, and, and I am telling the truth. You, you need only inquire. I, I do not know what you want of me. The truth, your name. Lebec. When I was a boy, they called me little. Now I'm called old. And, and I have never stolen anything. Why is everyone so spiteful against me? I, I am not the man you seek. The defendant is correct. Look at me. Don't you recognize me? Monsieur le Président, I ask you to acquit this prisoner. He's not the man you seek. I am the convict, Jean Valjean. Monsieur, we have met before. You are the mayor of Monte sur Monte. Have you taken leave of your senses? You are on the verge of committing a great error. I'm the only man who sees clearly here, and I speak the truth. Brother, don't you remember me? I remember you. Call to mind the checkered braces you wore as a prisoner. She needed you. You have on your left shoulder a deep burn over the letters TFP. Isn't that so? And Coach Pai, you have on your right arm a date made in blue letters with burnt gunpowder. And I, gentlemen, I have my prison identification. I will not occupy the time of this court any longer. The public prosecutor knows who I am and where I live. I presume that all of you here think me worthy of pity. But, great God, when I think I was on the point of doing nothing, I consider myself worthy of envy. Still, I should have preferred that none of this had happened. Monsieur. It's all right. My little one, she is with you. My angel. Soon. You'll see her soon. But you must get better first. No, no, please. Just to look at her. She is pretty. Please, I, I must see her. Please. There, now, you see. You mustn't excite yourself. You have to try to rest. Oh, oh dear God, save me. It's all right. Don't be frightened. He hasn't come for you. Then make haste. 
I said come with me. Monsieur le maire? There is no Monsieur le maire in this room. There is only a scoundrel. Inspector. Monsieur, Monsieur the inspector now. A word in private. What's that? Please. Speak up. People talk aloud to me. I ask you to give me three days in which to go and fetch the child of this poor woman. I'll pay whatever you want. And if you don't trust me, then come with me. You think me a fool? Who can be bought? Three days in which you can bolt? To pretend that you would fetch this creature's brat. Oh, that is fine, fine. Oh, Cosette. Oh, dear God. My child. My, my, my Cosette. Monsieur, Monsieur Le Maire. Be quiet, wench. You think a street walker can be nursed like royalty. No more. There is no more, Monsieur Le Maire. without. Come quickly or they will take you by force. I advise you to let me be for a moment. My solemn vow, my sacred promise, the child will be cared for. Now, sir, I am at your service. Nothing, Inspector. Not a sign. Keep searching. Yes, sir. Monsieur Madeleine! Duval. Four men to come with me at once. for a proper burial. The rest you may use as you wish. Monsieur, where will you go? I can't tell you. If I did, you'd have to tell them. And I don't want to put you in a position where you're forced to betray me. It's better that you... Listen, they're coming. They're moving all around the house. I must hide. You step away from the door, please, sister. Yes, of course. Where is Monsieur Le Maire? Are you deaf, sister? Where is Monsieur Le Maire? I do not know. 
You were alone in the house? Must I ask every question twice? I'm alone. It is my understanding, sister, that you have never told a falsehood in your life. Never. Then forgive me for asking, but it is my duty. You have not seen the man who calls himself Monsieur Madeleine within the last hour? No. I must humbly beg your pardon, then. God bless you, sister. I've lied. This falsehood be placed to your credit in paradise. God be with you, monsieur. Indeed. You wish lodging for the night, monsieur? No, I, I would like to speak to your husband, madame. About what? About the child you have living with you, Cosetta. What has she done now? Rest assured, monsieur, she will be severely punished. Mm. Is she a problem for you? Mm. I cannot even beat an honest day's work out of the child. Mm. How would you like to be rid of her? Uh, uh, may I be of some assistance, monsieur? Uh, the gentleman wants to take the little toad away with him. Toad? Cosette. What are you talking about? How can you think like that? Oh, no, I'm sorry, monsieur, that's impossible. You see, uh, I adore the child, don't I, my dear? We're really very attached to her. <laughs> I mean, of course, to offer you money for her. your money away, monsieur. I can't consent to that. I mean, you'd blow the child up. We couldn't bear to part with her. Oh, yes, yeah, my wife is quick with her sometimes, but she loves her too. You won't accept money, then? Well, we are very poor, monsieur, but... Uh, well, I can't just give the child up to the first passerby, and unless... Yes. Well, we would have to know where she's going, so that we could see her from time to time. 500 francs. But when we leave here, you will not see her again. No, I'm sorry, monsieur. The sacrifice is too great. Unless... Yes. Well, if you could see your way to making a 1,000 francs. Done. Here. And we will never meet again. Who is this man, Thenardier? He is the manager of an inn, he and his wife. And does he know where they've gone? 
He followed them to the road out of town, a road that could lead them here to Paris, and I requested transfer here at once. <laughs> and you think you can find him? If he is here, I will find him. Exactly what I told you to do. Never open unless you hear two more knocks. Now, because you're such a good pupil, we're going to start our lessons. Lessons? Yes. Reading. But I can't read. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm going to teach you. We've covered the entire Quartier Poulard here. Cover it again and again. And then the Quartier moved on. You'll find that most thieves are not attracted to the Quartier Mouffetard. Jean Valjean is not most thieves. Do it. <laughs> Tell me, did I see the police here a while ago? They are looking for someone. They may question you as you leave. Oh, I see.
Search that alley. Open every door. He must be here somewhere. Lieutenant, send for more men. You take them all on the right! Open this door! Open! Open! This is the police! Open the door! This is the police! Do you think he climbed the wall? Well, well there's a chance. But with a girl, never. Yeah, he's got to be. Establish a watch in the neighborhood until further notice. At once, Please, have no fear. I, I, I have no wish to harm you. It's, it's Monsieur Madeleine. How do you know me? Do you not remember me? You pulled me out from under the car, do you remember? I'm Fauchelevent. Fauchelevent. Ah, Fauchelevent. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm working here in the convent. But, Monsieur, you must have fallen out of the sky. Convent? You're a man, Monsieur. They never let you in here. How did you get in? Oh, no matter. My purpose now is to stay here. You must understand, Monsieur, the sisters can't afford to employ anybody else. Well, I wouldn't want to be paid. I, uh, I do the work for nothing. Uh, 
just to stay here with my little one, of course. I'll speak to the Mother Prioress, but um, I don't know what I'm going to tell her. I'll tell her that you have a brother newly arrived and that you want him to help you with the work. You are the brother? Yes, Reverend Mother. What is your name? Ultim Fauchelevan, Reverend Mother. You are a gardener? Uh, oh, yes, he is, Reverend Mother. Are you a good Christian? Oh, yes, he is, Reverend Mother. And this little girl is yours? Yes, she is, Reverend Mother. He answers well. Yes, oh, thank you, Reverend Mother. That will be all. Monsieur, the child, she will stay now with us. Don't be frightened, my child. They'll take good care of you. And I, I I'll never be far away. The transfer will be effective immediately, the district of abuse. Monsieur, I beg to remind you, we have not as yet apprehended the fugitive Jean Valjean. He is still at large. We do have other considerations here, and foremost among them is the rate of crime in abuse. But if we stop the search now, he may slip through our fingers. Inspector, I am ordering you to the district of abuse. Do you attempt to argue with me? Never, sir. You leave tomorrow morning. That is all. Monsieur. Well, what is it now? I will never give up the search for Jean Valjean. If it takes me the rest of my life, I will find him. And that is the sacred promise. here is complete now, and for that I am greatly indebted to you. But I feel now that she has grown. She has a right to know the life outside before renouncing it. Quite frankly, monsieur, that she is a bright child and obviously quite comely. We shall miss her very much. I can well understand that. And after all, having taken care of her as you have, I would like to offer a, a gift to the convent, the sum of 5,000 francs. Monsieur? A, a sum that I um, inherited. Please accept it from me with my gratitude. I will see that Cosette gets her things ready. And I say 
to you, down with the Bourbons. Why do we need a king? Parasites, down with the Bourbons, down with the monarchy. Destroy the restoration, create a new government. You, join us today. Together we will lay our hand on the sword hilt of God and shout, down with the Bourbons, down with the monarchy. We can do it. Only together can we bring these murderers to their knees. We are advancing. We shall be victorious. We shall not despair. We who believe, what can we fear? We have brains that dream, heads that talk, passions that burn, souls Come along, that suffer, and miseries that yell, freedom, freedom. Death to the king, death to the monarchy. Long live Cosette. the people. Listen to me. I don't understand. What have they done? Quickly. Take up their arms. Take up their swords. Join us. Join us and fight. But why? Why do the police want to arrest them? Because they're revolutionary. They want to destroy the monarchy. Is the monarchy bad? Well, it doesn't listen to the poor. It never has. But then it commands the French army. To fight it is useless. Will he? I mean, will they come back to the park again? Oh, I doubt that anything will stop them until they're killed. You are now official agents of the government. You will no longer wear police uniforms until the leaders of this insurrection are apprehended. I want you to infiltrate every district. Question anyone who has a knowledge of these traitors. Find the ringleaders and bring them in. Or if they resist, shoot them on the spot. Inspector, you will assign the district of Dufy. A break. District of Lamast. Rio. District of Mondeville. Such a nice day. Now we go to the park. The park? If you wish. The human race is rising. The lower strata will come out from all its distress. We are advancing. We shall be victorious. We who believe, what can we fear? We have brains that dream, heads that talk, passions that burn, Souls that suffer and miseries that yell, freedom, freedom. What are we? We are all nameless men. Men of wretchedness and nothingness. Bare arms, bare feet. But every man who has in his soul the secret revolt against the forces of repression belongs to us. We are lifted by the whirlwind. We shall make a cannonball of stone, a general of a porter, riot. Insurrection. His name's Enjolras. He may be speaking for others, but we have reason to believe he leads them. That is our duty. And so I say to you again today, death to the king, death to the monarchy. Long live the people. What do we want? An end of oppression, the end of tyranny, the end of the sword. Hmm? We want Look. work for the man. Do you see her? The bright angel. I want you to follow her and find out where she lives. How much do you give me? I'll give you a swift kick, little brat, if you don't follow her. Cosette. Come along now. Quickly. She's leaving. Do you want him taken in? Not yet. The other one, the young one. Maddie, what's the name? He lives alone. Perhaps if we question him. Oh my God. What is it? Alive? What are you talking about? We are not like those men, smiling, embroidered, gilded, beribboned in silk stockings. Stay here. Leaning upon a velvet covered table near a marble Did you see? 
A gentleman go by here with a pretty young lady. Monsieur, I do not speak to strangers. I am Chief Inspector Javert of the Cartier Mouffetard. Did you see them? Yes, Monsieur. Just a moment ago. Where did they go? Up there, to the end of the park. I wait without. Please do not send me away. I cannot live as I was. I cannot go on without speaking to you. I am your devoted servant. Mademoiselle, you are paradise. And I will never be the same again. Father, what a beautiful morning. Uh, sit down, Cosette. I have something to tell you. <laughs> but must you look so serious about it? It's a serious matter. Well? I'm afraid to... We must leave Paris for a while. Leave? Why? It's getting too dangerous for us. The insurrection is growing every day. Oh, but surely it's nothing. We'll be fighting in the streets. It's not safe for us here. Where would we go? London, perhaps for a year. You know I've always done what's best for us. You can't. Dear God, you can't. There must be some way. You could follow me. I have no money. Because that you can't leave me now. There's no choice. I owe everything in the world to him. I swear by all that is holy, if you leave here now, I will die. Excuse me, sir. Your grandson is here. Marius. Yes, sir. Will you receive him?
Well, what is it you want, young man? Sir? Come to your senses at last, have you? Come to ask my forgiveness, I suppose. Oh, no, sir, I, I... I wish you to take pity on me, sir. Pity? You who take sides with the scum of the streets against the government, against the monarchy, against your own family. You expect to receive pity from me? <laughs> I'm aware that my presence here displeases you, sir. Oh, so that's what you think, is it? But I have come to ask just one thing of you, and then I shall go away at once. Don't be a fool, boy. Who said anything about going away? Why don't you ask for my forgiveness, eh? Why don't you come here and embrace me now? You broke my heart, you know. Sometimes I've been glad that your father and mother died before you could break their hearts, too. Well, what is it you want of me? Speak up, man. I have come to ask your permission to marry. Marry? Oh, so you have a profession, have you? You've learned a trade and are earning your living. Oh, I, I tutor in science as often as I can, but no, I, I don't have a weekly income. Indeed. Then I presume the young woman is wealthy? Uh, no, sir. I, I shall need money. Oh, you will, will you? <laughs> well... <laughs> Here you are, there's 20 louis for you, and you can buy yourself a hat. <laughs> Please, sir. Ah, uh, why don't you leave the ridiculous life you're leading with this rabble and come back to us? I, I beg you, sir. Her father means to take her to England, and I need just enough money to follow, just enough money to go to England. And, oh, if only you knew how wonderful she is and how much I love her. Well, if that's the case, my dear boy, why don't you make the silly girl your mistress? <laughs> so unhappy that you can desert them now. What? What are you talking about? They've started fighting. They've built a barricade. Where? On the Rue Saint-Denis. Wait, I'll go with you. I've seen him before. He even 
told me who he was. Who are you, monsieur? What is your name? Javert. He is Javert. Who is Javert? The chief inspector of the Cartier Mouffetard. Well, Monsieur l'inspecteur, I have the honor of telling you that you will be shot two minutes before the barricade is taken. Why not at once? We have to save our gunpowder. Your time will come as it will for all of us. Take this letter to 16 Rue d'Italiard, it's urgent. But I can't... I know you want to stay and die with us, but believe me, little friend, your death won't save the Republic. Live to fight another way, so... Now, go. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. What is it? message for Cosette. Oh, for Cosette, really? Well, I'm her father. You can give it to me. But he told me only to give it to Cosette. Who? Who told you? Marius. Marius. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, it's all right, then. Here. No, no, no. I do this for Marius. Wait. Where is he now, this Marius? On the Rue Saint-Denis, at the barricade. They are fighting. Now? I go back to join them. Uh, you? That's ridiculous. Long live the Republic! Monsieur Madeleine, don't shoot. I'll vouch for him. Hold your fire! Hold your Why have you come here? I came to take your place. It's a fool's errand, monsieur. I couldn't leave here now if I wanted to. Unless you surrender. It's out of the question. If all we have to offer them is the protest of our corpses, we shall do it. But you, monsieur, have walked into a trap. They've seen you join us. You're one of us now. Joins up with the fools. 
How did you come? I'm a troublesome spy. You needn't be concerned. They will blow out my brains very shortly. And you, I suppose, will be certain to watch. You are welcome to. How much longer can you hold? We will not survive the next attack. I'm going to ask a favor of you. Well? Let me be the one to kill the spy. As you wish. But I will not have this rotten corpse near ours. Take him to the Montrachet corner. The barricade's lower there. Be done with it. I am waiting. Our oh, knife. Of course, that suits a cutthroat better. Turn around! You're free. Be gone. You madden me. I would sooner be killed. I said, be gone. He must be here. He must. must. Nothing. You can see for yourself, sir. What about the roof? Collapsed in the last cannon fire. Then where? Where? It's in. Bring two men at once. Bring 
some torches. And you. Why did you let me go? I had no choice. Choice? Once, many years ago, a remarkable man bought my soul. He removed from it all evil thoughts and gave it to God. There is no God. There is only the law, guilt, and innocence do not exist outside the law. If that is what you believe, then you must kill me. Kill me now. Turn around.
रहा है Thank you for coming. I've been a fool. Oh, sir, we're all fools most of our lives. It's unavoidable. <laughs> <laughs> 